Hello, and in this video, we're going to create a sub assembly including the ink cartridge. So, we're going to use this uh, part studio where we created the slider, the ink cartridge, and tip, and we're going to put that into an assembly. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to create a configuration for this uh, slider. Uh, that way we don't have to make four separate assemblies for each color, we can just change that type. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to start over here on the right hand side with configuration panel on the configure part studio. And I want four different part studios. So I'm going to have a red, a blue, a green, and a black. So from there, next I want to do configure properties, and I have to tell it what property. So I want to make sure I'm on the slider, so I change the properties of for slider, and add property, and I'm going to select name, or uh, not name, I'm going to select uh, appearance. So I want to delete name, so I'm going to delete that one. Uh, so right now it's default to blue. Uh, I can change my next one to a whatever color I want it to be, so let's say I want it to be red, I'm going to edit appearance, and I'm going to make it red. And that changed the default to red. Uh, so this next one's blue, and I got it configured to blue, slider, edit appearance, and I want to make sure I select blue. Uh, then I do my next one, slider, edit appearance, change it to, let's say, a green color, and that's going to change my option to green. Uh, then I do my last one. It's right now it's default to blue. Edit appearance. I want it to go to black. Hit my check. And that changes it to black. And I want to change that name to black. Uh, so now if I select red, it's going red, blue, green, or black, depending on which one I do. Uh, so that's our different configurations. And that's going to be important when we come over to our assembly. So right now if I want to change the color, I can just select blue. I can select green. And it's going to change that color I have. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is start a new assembly. So I'm going to create assembly, and while I'm here, I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to right-click, rename, uh, and I'm going to call it my cartridge assembly. From there, I'm going to insert, and I'm just going to select that ink cartridge part studio. So I select that one, place it, hit our green check to accept, and again, first thing I'm going to do is fix it in place. So I'm going to fix that cartridge piece in place. Uh, next, I'm going to pull my blue piece out, my tip out, that way it's easier to fasten them in place. I'm going to start with my slider, so I'm just going to do a fasten mate. I'm going to zoom in, make sure I get the middle of that hole portion, and then I'm going to rotate my view and put it in the middle of the hole. Uh, this one, it's going to be offset, so if I look at it, I don't want it's not directly touching. There's a little bit of an offset. Uh, in the, if you look, it's the blue, so the Z direction by about 0 0.05. And we want it to go in the opposite direction, so it's going to be a negative 0 0.05. Hit our green check to accept, and that puts that in the proper location. Again, I'm going to change my ISO view, another fasten mate. This time I'm going to get the tip, and then rotate my view so I can get what it goes into, or you can just click directly on it. I'm going to rotate my view for this next step, though. Again, we'll do an offset because it goes into that pin. Again, it's the Z direction, and this time it's about 0.1 it goes. And it goes into it like it so, so we're going to hit our green check to accept. So that gives us our assembly. Now we want to be able to have our different colors. Uh, to do that, we're going to do a configuration again. So we're going to configure our assembly. Again, we want our different coloration. So we want red, blue, green and black. Uh, from there I'm going to configure assembly feature and then I'm going to select my slider. Uh, right now it's selected as my default uh, and I selected that for my default. Uh, then I can come over here and I can select each configuration. So red I want red, blue I want blue, green I want green, and then black I want black. Uh, so that creates those uh, different configurations. So when we go to add it to our final assembly or our housing assembly, uh, we have those to use. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to get your ink cartridge uh, assembly sub-assembly created and set up so you can use your different colors. Uh, thank you and good luck.